Hi. What you see on the screen here are well-known BASIC waves, one of the famous one-liner program written in BASIC that prints on the screen this pattern that looks like a sea waves. Now, what I have in mind today is to add some ships sailing across these beautiful waves and to do it all in BASIC. So, why is this a little bit of a challenge? Well, you see this loop that prints this um, pattern is doing only that and it's doing uh, with the maximum speed that it can in BASIC. But if we want to do any additional work, like uh, moving a ship on the screen, we have to add some additional commands inside this loop. When we do that, we are definitely going to lose a speed. And by that we are going to, uh, it is possible that we are going to lose uh, smoothness of the waves and just get some uh, broken, not very smooth effect instead. So, but if we want to have some uh, additional work done, we will have to do, um, we, we will have to print the, this pattern on the screen and move the ship across the screen in more or less in the same time and do it uh, as efficiently we can. So this is our problem and now we can start to, to search for a solution. So let's begin. So we switch on a PC because it's easier to record all the steps that we are going through and there are some tools that we are going to use it online. So first of all we will make our ship in form of a sprite. So in that case we need to build one um, and we will use an um, online sprite editor to do just that. Um, this is a uh, uh, I is the one that I really like to use so we are going to use one of the sprites that I already made I'm not very good into graphics but um, I think it will be just fine uh, for this purpose um, it looks like ship almost so uh, next thing that we are going to do when we um, color um, everything and uh, of course we are going to use a multicolor sprite uh, we are going to export uh, and use the raw byte stream and okay there are some additional information that are very useful we will copy that all and we will paste it into our text editor so I will make a new file so here and so before we import this into a basic um, uh, file we need to prepare it a little bit and make it a little bit more um, compact so let me do just that so, So, so this data and so, oh, okay, so just okay. Here we go. And now we will make it a little bit more compact and squeeze more data into one line ah, okay. and Zero. So let's say this would be 500 and say this is Sprite and we say one. 
Okay. So we will use this um, and we will copy inside our program here and I will add some additional um, uh, data. Just one moment, please. Um, So to uh, enable sprites and to uh, show it on the screen and uh, able to manipulate with it, we need a couple more lines. So here we define the position of um, um, the position of the memory where we're going to write our sprite data. Uh, we adding some. And setting up some additional configuration for the sprite, uh, defining colors, enabling uh, multicolor sprite, and this is our sprite data. And this loop here that was previously at the top will place down here, and we will change it a little bit because um, dun, 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 what we need to do is uh, what we need to do is um, we need to print this uh, this would be 40 and this would be uh, so here we will have to put some additional code so we will define uh, y and x position for a sprite we will uh, define y position as a random and we will place um, x position on 250 I will explain in just a moment why is this um, why did those values <coughs> so the next thing that we need to do is to poke v uh, x uh, x um, value and we are going to go instead of we are going to go to 30 and we need to x um, b x minus 1 ok uh, I believe this is it uh, open this and we go to 30 ok ok we need one more line and that is uh, we need a if statement, so if x is um, uh, x is um, less than 20, then uh, go to 25. So we, if we reach um, when we reach um, x position of 20 or less, then we'll go to line 25 and uh, go um, all over it again so i believe this is it let's try to um, compile this and we will save it as waves okay so let's start our ship on waves so here we go it's looking kind of okay so we are, we have um, two problems here. First of all, our ship is not going um, all over the screen, uh, over the entire screen. We are starting like somewhere uh, a little bit right, but uh, we didn't start from the border, uh, right border. And secondly, um, these waves doesn't doesn't look very well, so they are. They're looking sluggish, definitely. So this is very slow. So we need to fix this. Uh, so let's first start about um, problem with um, with our ship, or to be precise, sprites. So this is the 
this is the screen uh, how it's divided um, for um, graphic uh, for the sprites so um, this area here uh, where is this dash line this is the um, max maximum um, uh, position of the X um, with 255 so it's one byte so we are missing additional ninth uh, bit of this value to go um, all over the screen so this between these positions three and four so to do that we are starting with um, we activating our um, ninth um, bit with um, plus 16 command so position v plus 16 and the x um, starts again from 0 to 65 here so we need to implement this uh, into our code um, to be able to uh, for our ship to go all over the screen so from the right border all the way to the left and of course we do have a um, little bit of problem with the uh, uh, with the position random position uh, y position of the uh, ship because um, <coughs> Uh, sometimes ships end up all the way down and you cannot see it so we have to fix that also um, the movement of the waves is like I said very very slow so it doesn't look very well so we need to fix that also so this is what we are going to do next so here we are we made some changes so first of all we um, switch um, this um, wave pattern I uh, make it to make it uh, a variable so uh, we uh, in initialize the random um, numbers for the y-axis and we um, a little uh, tune up this number so it, it, it's all of it, always on, on the screen and we define our starting position uh, to be all the way um, right and that also means that we uh, need to set uh, ninth bit uh, to be uh, high uh, and then we poke the <coughs> poke the positions uh, initial positions of the sprite and then uh, from uh, line 70 to 100 we switch from uh, go to command to for loop so this is infinite for loop uh, where we uh, print our pattern we move our sprite in the x, uh, x position uh, we um, um, change the x position minus one and then we check uh, are we at the um, we are um, at the x equals zero so that means that we are we reached um, just one moment that we reached um, this position here um, this is where the number three is and um, in case that we uh, reach this position then we um, <coughs> uh, toggle off this uh, ninth bit we set to zero and switch from x being uh, zero to x being 254 in this case so uh, let us see uh, uh, what to do next uh, okay uh, <coughs> and then <coughs> we quickly change the position of the sprite in that case so uh, after that we are waiting until the x, uh, x is uh, equal to 1 that means that we left uh, that we are far left and we um, um, the sprite is um, or, 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 or gone from the screen in that case we are um, uh, going to a line 50 that means that we are generating an, um, another position random position for a sprite and going all over uh, so let us try to uh, build this and um, see what uh, did, did we get, gain some speed or not so let's try that 
So I don't know. It look, looks a little bit faster, but still kind of sluggish. Um, not really. Uh, I'm not really happy with this. But um, first of all, our ship is going all over, all, all, all over the screen, so it's going from the right to the left uh, border, and that's okay. Um, so that's good. So we need to solve this problem, and to solve this problem we are going to do something um, not ordinary. So <coughs> we are trade some space for the speed. So what that means? That means that we are, instead of just printing once um, our, our pattern inside this um, loop, we are going to print it multiple times and we will see what uh, what uh, we will get with this so we will print it here and we will print it here and we can print it here also so uh, while on, uh, uh, one cycle of this loop will create one two three four uh, patterns on the screen so let's try to do that to build this and see will it be any better it's a little better so I think that we um, can be happy with this but I will try um, just one more uh, test uh, so one moment please <coughs> And by the power of emulation, we can have a two vice emulator on the screen. And this on the left side is um, just one liner um, original waves um, in basic, and on the right is our version with the with the ship. Um, well, we are still slower, but that's that's understandable because we are. Um, uh, poking to the memory and we are have um, we have um, at least two if statements that are checking every cycle so um, I don't know maybe this is good enough um, but uh, I will definitely try this on a real machine and see how it behaves maybe my system is a little bit too slow so I did make um, one additional version of this, so I'll show you how, how it's working. So let's run it. So, like you see, um, we have quite the fluid waves now, and uh, the ship is uh, going along the way um, just fine. Um, but um, of course, this is a little bit of cheating because what we have done. What I have done here is um, I moved the ge generating of this uh, wave patterns from the basic code to assembly. Um, I wrote uh, assembly, a um, small piece of code that uh, prints these patterns on the on the screen and use, uh, <coughs> uses uses um, a timer interrupt uh, to call uh, interrupt function that um, prints out this pattern on the screen um, and it's this is the on line 40 that we um, insert this um, opcodes into the memory and we call the um, beginning of this um, of this program that uh, starts in all the interrupts and then the basic program continues on and then we <coughs> this is the, we are using the maskable interrupt so this is the reason why we are able to um, <coughs> um, um, continue to using a basic program uh, in the same time while this interrupt is running in the background so this is the result I'm quite happy with this Although it's not entirely in basic, but um, I think that uh, is great. Uh, of course, I will test this also on the on the <coughs> real machine and just to compare the differences between the version that is all in basic and this one that uh, uses uh, assembly code 
small piece of, thing, of assembly code. Uh, of course, uh, all the versions, um, including the assembly code and everything, will be in the description of this video. So, so this is pure basic version. So let's run it. And here is our ship. It's looking really good. Really, really good. Really nice. Okay, now let's stop that. And let's uh, try to uh, load a um, version with the um, with the part of the um, waves in the written in machine code so let's try to do that as well so paste it okay so this part of, of the code is uh, part of the machine code that will produce our patterns so let's run it and here we go it's slightly um, faster so it gives um, slightly better effect definitely yeah. nice and the colors on this tv is all over the place so i uh, don't mind that so that's all for today, thank you for watching and goodbye. <laughs> you cannot stop, interrupt.